Well, good morning, my beautiful people. It's me. I just got my little shadow come up to sit beside me. Oh, and now the other one wants to come and bite him. Get down, Alfie. Down. No squabbling. Mummy's busy. Here we go again. So I've got my cup of tea. I have a new pouch of tobacco. There's nothing quite like a new pouch of tobacco. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. And what I'm going to do today, sorry about the rustling, I am going to do, I'm going to start my makeup. I won't do the full thing. Nobody needs to be here that long. <laughs> Nobody really needs to see me look like this either for that matter. But hey, it's kind of like a mini get ready with me. But I want to talk about quite a serious, serious subject. Something happened here recently that kind of knocked the entire community for six. Um, one of the first friends as a couple that Alan and I made, the wife was always depressed. She always had issues, anxiety issues and depression issues. And sadly, about a week ago, she killed herself. She committed suicide. I'm not going to get into details and things like that. It's, it's not about necessarily just her. It's about how you never know. This woman was, as I say, was always troubled, always had some anxiety issues and depression. But truthfully, and I feel myself to be a fairly shrewd judge of character, I never saw this coming, really. Um, since Alan passed away, uh, a lot of my English friends have kind of dropped away from me. Pardon me, I think I've got a phone call. Who is it? It's Demetra, of course. <laughs> Hello, darling. Uh, I'm actually in the middle of doing a video, so I'm going to have to call you back. Uh, I work at six. I, you know, I should be finished in about <laughs> 20 minutes. Stop barking, Alfie. All right, love. Okay, babe. Speak to you then. Bye. Always. It's not the first time she's interrupted a video. Alfie, stop that. Now he wants to play because he heard the phone. Mm. So as I say... Even feeling myself to be a shrewd judge of character, I never saw this coming. And it kind of knocked me for six. And with, as I say, again, <laughs> the fact that I kind of, not lost touch, but things, they didn't distance themselves from me. They weren't horrible or anything like that. It was more a case that I think people don't know what to do with you. They don't know how to react to you when you're grieving. Um, and also, I think there's an element of suddenly somebody who was part of a couple is now on the market, so to speak. And I think that that comes into play as well. People are women, <laughs> not people. Women are worried that suddenly I'm going to start chasing their husbands. Now, I don't do married men. I have never done married men. It is not my thing uh, because I wouldn't have liked it done to me. So that was never an issue. But I'm fairly certain that that had something to do with it. But like I say, I kind of lost touch to a large degree with a lot of my English friends because they were all couples and then suddenly I'm no longer part of a couple, I'm a single woman as such. Just so you know, <laughs> I've got a new face cream. Get a 
load of this. Where's the camera? There's the camera. Face cream, donkey milk and olive oil. <laughs> I am bathing in ass's milk. I do believe I am Cleopatra. I'm not. But like I say, serious issue that I want to talk about. Even if you think somebody's okay, they may not be. You need to pay attention to the little signs. Um, and maybe, just maybe, you can stop that person from feeling like they're feeling and from doing something so drastic because what they do affects them, obviously, obviously. But once the deed is done, it no longer affects them, but it does affect everyone around them. Your partner, <coughs> your husband, your wife, your whatever, will feel probably responsible for this for the rest of their lives and when you love somebody how can you do that to them and I'm not detracting from the fact that if somebody feels so bad that they see this as the only way out <sighs> but you know we don't pay attention to each other. We don't pay attention to our loved ones enough. How many times do you hear stories about, I have no idea, you see photographs, this is so and so, two days before they committed suicide, and to look at the photograph that's posted, you would know nothing. You would have no idea that this is what's really going on in their minds. And this is what I have found since this happened. That questions are raised by people about their own part in either noticing, or in most cases, not noticing that this is going on, that this is how bad somebody is feeling. Pardon the rip, I'm about to open my enormous makeup bag. If you want to see my makeup, this is my, seriously, this is my makeup bag. Pardon my crutch. That is my makeup bag. <laughs> that huge thing is my makeup bag. Oh God. This is what happens when you get old, you need more product. Mm. I don't want this to be overly dramatic. I just want to say to you guys, pay attention to what's going on around you. Tell the people you love that you love them. Do things. Don't procrastinate. Don't keep putting things off because one day you're going to be too late. So, aside from all that, I just wanted to touch on that, to say to you guys, think about what you do, think about your life, think about your partner, the people in your lives, because they may not always be there and you need them to be. So if you pay attention, maybe you can help. Right, get ready with me on a lighter note. So, I've been to Daphne's. I went to Pilos for coffee with uh, one of the girls who works in the restaurant opposite yesterday. And we had uh, a nice coffee. We, had a, we shared a Caesar salad for lunch, 
And I went into Daphne's, or we went into Daphne's, and I bought myself a new bronzer. It's by a company called Seventeen. It's quite a pretty bronzing powder. It's a huge beast, look at the size of it. But it's got these really pretty highlights in, which I like. And it's, although it's a cool tone, because I don't like warm tone bronzers, it is a little shiny, because I don't mind that. Like, let's get this face bronzed, just to get things started. Oh, it's not a mirror, but it works. <laughs> so I know I'm not looking into the camera, that's because I'm looking into the screen itself so I can see what I'm doing. So here's my new bronzer, which is, and I know I'm very shiny at the moment, that's because I've just put my cream on, obviously. I just wanted to warm this face up a bit because it's looking a little sad and pale. So I need to get rid of my five head somewhat and just warm these cheeks up. But it's a very nice bronzer. Let me give you a swatch. So there you can see it's not too dark, it's not orangey, I hate orangey bronzers, and it's just got that little bit of sparkle in it. These are one of my lovely brushes that I bought from Daphne's when Lisa was here. Bronze up the neck a bit. I always forget my neck, terrible. So, what else have I been up to the last few days? I've been working hard. I say I've been working hard. I've been working my hours. <laughs> I haven't been working hard apart from doing bits in the shop because it's got very quiet here this week. So, I'm not entirely sure how much longer I will be working. I hope at least until the end of September because otherwise my winter is going to be very frugal this year. But I think it should be okay. We'll see. So, what next? A little eye primer, I feel. Now, this is the primer I use. It's an Italian company. It's not too silicony. It's... There's what it looks like. And I just put a dot on each eye. Rub it in. So I've got a vaguely tacky base to start my eyes. Because my eyes are the thing I spend the most time on. As I say, I know I'm not looking in the camera at the moment, guys, and I apologise for that. I love this dark patch I have right in the corner of my eye. It really pisses me off. What can I say? Old bag. <laughs> Um, so yeah, work's quietening down, even the restaurant is quietening down some. What palette shall I play with today? Mm -hmm. I think I'll play with my Soph palette, which I love to pieces. Now I have a mirror in here, so when I'm not actually looking at myself, oh, itchy nose, always do when I put cream on my face. And look, there's my Soph palette. Look at those beautiful colours. Oh, you can see I've been digging into this palette already. So, yeah. Not sure what I'm going to go for. I'd like to go for something relatively smoky today. I feel a smoky eye coming on. But I haven't cleaned my brushes from yesterday because I'm a dirty hoe. A little brush to pop. Pardon me. Where are we? Let's drag out all my brushes that I like to have by me when I'm doing my face. Sit down, Alfie. Do not annoy everyone. Be a good boy. Oh, Mummy will beat your ass. Yes, she will. No, she won't. And he knows it. Little monster. But he's my little monster. As I've said before. So, we're going to start with cleaning this brush which is my favourite brush 
but it is filthy and orange at the moment. So let's give this a bit of a clean. I'm not the world's best with brushes. I don't take great care of them. <laughs> oh, that's good enough. Okay, so I'm going to start with a transition shade here and here. I'm going to use both of these first of all. Get off me inside sheet, you little bugger. I will try to do this this way. One, because that's where the light comes in from. Oh, blimey, I've got the bronzer on. And it's uneven. Where's my bronzer brush? There it is. Wait, I'm uneven. Let's just blend this in a bit more. Hello. I'm crap. I'm crap, and I know I am. <laughs> Okay, a bit of bronze there, that's better. At least I match. <clears throat> so, starting with the palest transition shade, which is called Iced Coffee. How appropriate, that's what I had yesterday. Big fat Fredo Cappuccino, which was very nice. Caesar salad was nice as well, and I fed a cat with it, because I'm an animal freak. Okay, so nice little soft iced coffee transition shade to start right in the crease of my eye, to give me a nice warm base. Using very light pressure. Stop barking, Alfie. I know he wasn't barking, barking, but he was thinking about it, I could tell. So there you go, there's a nice soft transition colour in. Okay, I'll zoom this in. Looks very pretty on my skin, this colour. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, monkey, you knocked my brush on the floor. Lay down. They should be quiet because I've just fed them. Ella, Alfie, no. Lay down, Carter. He's investigating my makeup bag. Alfie likes to eat things, as you know, and has eaten another pair of my false eyelashes. He's a little bastard for eating things. He's now laying on his back with all four feet in the air, rolling about, growling as you can hear. So I don't think we're going to get very far with this tu I say tutorial laughingly, this get ready with me, which is much more appropriate for me. Um, I will do the next transition colour in my eyes and then I'm going to let you guys go. It was, this is a weird video because of what I wanted to talk about. So it kind of seems odd to do something as light and fluffy as makeup following something quite so serious. But, you know the expression, life goes on. I'm afraid to say it has to. And life will have to go on now. But it has not the community because things like this don't tend to happen very often in sleepy little villages like this. And when it does, people get very upset. Even if they're not particularly known to the person that's done it. Uh, and in a small community like this, of course, we all know everybody. So people are shocked and surprised and probably a little hurt. Okay, I'm now going in with this color here, which is called Tiramisu. Soph does like her sweet names. 
and I'm going to put this over the lid so I've got like a graduation of colour Ella Carter, it's just the wind Carter's a bit of a scaredy cat he doesn't like storms he doesn't like when the wind comes up and starts blowing around it's a strange little creature get this on my eyelid and I'm going to wrap up this video once I've got my eyelid done and I'll send you a, a finished look stop fighting on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter all of which are under my name, Tracy German. Stop it. No squabbling. I'm not going to get any peace. I can smell it coming. So, sad one to talk to you about, but I'm not just a, a light and fluffy bird, you know. There are genuine things that go on in my life and around me. There's a little beast getting his ear scratched. Um... And you have to carry on. So, like I say, to those you love, tell them you love them. Lay down on me. Because you never know when you won't be able to tell them you love them anymore. So, to all my wonderful friends, I love you very much, as you know. To all my YouTube babies, I love you. Um, doing this is really good for me. It is good for my soul, as I've said before. It keeps me vaguely sane, or as sane as I get. So, have a lovely afternoon. I'll let you know when the up, the finished look is up. On my YouTube, on my YouTube, not on my YouTube at all. On my Twitter, on my Instagram. Stop it, gobby. Bitey little sod. Um, so have a lovely afternoon, guys. Kisses, filakia. Be good. <laughs>